Ah, the Duke is back with GBYFL flavor. Watching the Perry Hall Gators go 11U versus the 11U Edgemere Falcons Red. Here you see on the kickoff, the kickoff goes to the Falcons as it rolls out of bounds and they are ready to rock and roll in the season opener for both teams. It looks like the Falcons are going to try to get their ground game done early as they give the ball inside to number 10 for just a couple. Here he goes again, this time an inside handoff to number 21 as he barrels down. Looks like he's got about 10 yards for a first down. Great play. Again, the handoff this time to 21 again, but he's bottled up for no gain at the line of scrimmage. Great defense by the Gators. And this time to give it to number 10 again, but he's bottled up again right at the line of scrimmage. They are running into a brick wall here. They go again. This time, the quarterback, he never gets the ball off, and he is sacked behind the line of scrimmage. Number 40 right rolls out to his right. He's being chased by a host of blue jerseys, and he's down again behind the line of scrimmage. And the Gators get the ball, and they go to their sweep. It goes to 27. He's hit. He sidestepped. He look, oh, he fumbles the ball, and the ball is picked up by number 88. Great play by the Gators. The Gators are on the move, and they look like they're going to go to that power sweep again. There you see number two outside getting the ball to number 27. He sidesteps and dances into the end zone for a touchdown. Great play for number 27. Now watch the replay. Watch the precision on this play. Watch how number two is out front. He sees his blockers in front of him. And what does he do? He just knocks number 10 off just enough to spring 27. 27 then has a chance to go one-on-one, -on -one, and it is absolutely no contest as he sidesteps, moving those shimmy moves that he does, and number 27 bows in for the touchdown. Great play. The extra point is good. And the Gators take an early 8-0 lead over the Edgemere Falcons. And the ensuing kickoff is short, giving the Falcons good field position. And it looks like much of the same for the Falcons as they're getting bottled up and beat up at the line of scrimmage and they can't get anything going. Look as the Gators are all over. It looks like the Falcons are trying to get something going and they do a pitch out but it's pitched over the running back's head and it's recovered by the Gators inside the 30 yard line. And the Gators go back to the power sweep and they got 38 and 2 outside. Great block by number 2 and 27 gets a good block, cuts inside, goes outside. Ah, he's down inside the six yard line. Now watch this play in slow motion as you see number 38 and number two out in front of this power sweep. Then you see number two make his block. Watch this block, it's a beautiful block. It springs 27, so he's one on one again, and you know the air is thin out there when you're trying to catch this boy. And he just sidesteps, does his little jiggy thing, and there he is inside the 10 yard line, all the way down to the six. Great play by the gate. It looks like another sweep right. No, they counter. It goes to the left side for the touchdown, number 83. Watch this play again in slow motion as everybody looks looking for that right sweep and he counters going to the left side. You got people with their backs to the play, don't even see it coming. And number 83 dances in for touchdown. The extra point is good. Leaving the score, Perry Hall 16, Edgemere Falcons 0. Falcons are trying to get something going in the pitch and they give the number 10 and he goes nowhere. Bottled up right into the teeth of that defense of the Gators. And the Falcons again try to go right up the gut to the teeth of that defense but they can't get anything as they're bottled up again. Here again you see the Falcons. They're trying to get something going but bottled up in the teeth of that defense. And the ball goes back to the Gators and they look like they're going to test the inside as they give the ball to number two and he gets a couple and again now it's a straight pitch to number two he cuts outside he makes a move this is one tough runner as you see he breaks a tackle he goes inside and he barrels over and the Gators try to go inside but the ball is fumbled and recovered by the Falcons 
Falcons are having very little success on the offense as they just keep running into the teeth of that defense. Here you see number 10. He looks like he has a little bit of room and it may be a little ray of sunshine. But then, just as it looks like they're going to do something, the ball is fumbled again and recovered by number 21 of the game. And the Gators are in business again. This time they go right off the gut with number 38 and he just barrels in for the touchdown. Great play by the Gators. And this time the extra point is no good. Leaving the score, Perry Hall, Gators 22, Edgemere, Falcons 0. And the ball goes back to the Falcons, but it looks like the same old song. They just can't get anything going. Each time they try to go inside, outside, whatever they try, there's always somebody there to make a big stop. There you see the big stick by number 33. And then you see a host of Gators just swarming and the Gators keep it on the ground as they're gonna go in with a 22 to nothing halftime lead and on the second half kickoff it's an onside kick and the ball goes oh it's recovered by the Falcons it's the break that they needed now the Falcons got the ball in good field position they give the ball into number 21 but he doesn't get much Again, now they fumble the ball again and it goes right back to the gate. But there is absolutely no quit in these Falcons as they look like they're still gonna fight. Look at that great play by number 24. This is a tough team. And here, the Falcons get the ball back. They're fighting, they're not gonna give this up very easily. This is a tough and proud team. Here they go inside to 21, but still, that defense is just so tough. And they try again, 21, up the gut. They're trying to make something happen here. They're not going to just lay down and die, but that now number 44 gets in for the sack. This is direct stab to number five, and he looks like he's got some room. He cuts to the outside, he's using his speed, and you look at that stride, he's going to go in for a touchdown. Great play, number five. Watch this again in slow motion. It's just a great block. Again, precision, great coaching by this Gator coaching staff. Here you see again a lead blocker just knocking number 55 just enough off balance for number five to catch that sideline and it is Katie by the door. Touchdown. And the extra point is blocked. Great play by the Falcons. Watch this again in slow motion. Great call by the coaching staff as he overflows the right side and that kicker never had a chance. Gators 28, Edgemere Falcon 0. The Falcons trying to get something going in the handoff again to number 10, but he was bowed down by number 23. His coaches call him the nightmare. There again, number 23, just all over the field. And the Falcons just can't get anything going and they turn the ball back over to the Gators have a sea of talented backs at this time, number 16. He gets the ball. He has some room. He spins down to about the 45 yard line. And the Gators go up the gut this time to number 33, and he looks like he has some room. Look at the blocking and the sea of red shirts just falling to the ground as number 33 dances in for a touchdown. Watch this again in stop action motion as you see. Just to see good power running, but good blocking up front. Everybody knowing their assignment. Springing number 33 for a touchdown. Great play by the Gators. And the extra point by number 88 is good. Leaving the score. Gators 36. Falcons 0. No matter what the Falcons tried to do today, the ball just wasn't bouncing their way. Leaving the final score 36 to 0. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you can't attend the game, you can always watch it with the Duke. Duke Grant Magazine. Home of the very, very baddest young dudes in sports.